Damn, these Macs, these fans, they ramp up after just 90 seconds when plugged into an external monitor. That is awful. Alright my friends, this video is all about the base 15 inch 2018 versus the fully specced out max 15 inch 2018. Now we're going to be comparing primarily the 555X Radeon graphics card against the 560X graphics card because I heard on the forums everyone's kind of like saying that the 555X paired with the i7 2.2 is actually the best combination to get because it runs cooler, it runs faster, gives you the best battery life, all that kind of stuff. So. We're gonna do it. We're gonna check it out now. This is a, an asymmetrical test. Okay, so you got you got four terabytes here. You got thirty two gigabytes here. You don't have that much over here. So it's not like for like. We're not doing a direct comparison. But straight away, I'm gonna give you the answers straight away. The the answers is they pretty much ramp up the same and make the same amount of noise as each other. The the fan curve just goes just as high on both. There is a difference though, however, and I have noticed this ever since the supplemental update by Apple. So maybe there's further tuning to happen. It's particularly the i9, not really to do with the graphics card. The i9, they ramp down the fans 15 seconds to 50 seconds slower than the i7 2.2. Other than that, I didn't really notice any difference between the 555X and the 560X. Uh, okay, when the graphics card was stressed out, I did notice the, the, the i9 with the 560X sucking out five more extra watts of power than the 555X, but it was pushing out 20 more frames per second. So, you know, enjoy the show, take it easy, hope this helps with your buying decision. To be honest, if you're going to be just stationary, wait for the iMac. If you want a laptop and you're going to be stationary, yeah, this is a really good system. Most of the use cases you use it for, you don't really notice the difference. It's only those, you know, those cases where you need it. And if you don't know you need it, then you probably don't need it. Anyway, enjoy the show. Arriba Dirty Vamos. The results are the follow. All right, I got myself here. This is the MacBook Pro 15 inch. It's the i7, but more importantly, it's the 555X graphics card. Yeah. The reason why I got this is I want to settle the debate. And this debate isn't about performance because we do know that the i9 is powerfuller than the i7 2.2 555 graphics card. But what we don't know is which one is quieter and has the be best battery life. Because if you look at here, this is the i9 and it's running like maxed out CPUs, and right now the fans are kicking up, it's going 6,000 RPMs. So that's going, it's making quite a bit of noise. And it does this kind of things when the monitor, when you've got an external display plugged into the computer and you're doing a bit of CPU intensive stuff. Whereas if you get this nice, beautiful, probably the best MacBooks ever made, this is the 12 inch MacBook, it is fanless. So what that means is you can be doing iOS, simulator, Xcode, programming, Final Cut, everything, and it won't be making a noise. It's really, really good. This is probably the best machine to get for Serenity. So I want to find out if, you know, you're doing a bit of video editing, if you're doing a bit of iOS programming, if you're doing a bit of CPU tasks, which one of these machines will be the quietest? We know, we know, I'm pretty certain that the i9-560 graphics card is going to be faster, but what I want to know is when you're just using normal tasks, which is going to be quietest, which has the best fan profile. So, spending a lot of money on these guys, I'm going to be testing this guy out and letting you know which one, like I said, is quieter and has the best battery life. If you want to take a guess, leave a comment below because if you read the forums, they tell you that the 2.2 i7 555X is super quiet, it's a dream to use and it actually works out to be faster than the i9. We're going to be debunking this today or rebunking it and basically I've had enough so I just want to know if I've got the best one and I want to let you guys know what the best one is for all sorts of varieties whether you want quiet or performance. Alright, wish me luck. Let's do this. Whoa. <laughs> What's cool about this one actually, I don't know if you notice, is look at the colour. This is the first brand new MacBook Pro I've ever got that's the colour silver. So it's not actually that's face. It looks kind of nice. It looks nice, you know. It looks it looks really beautiful. Look at this silver. It looks it look you know. It kind of, I kind of like it, you know. <laughs> I kind of like it more than it's because I've had space gray since 2016. So getting a silver laptop is just um, 
It's a bit. It looks. It looks kind of nice, isn't it? Or is it? Or is it? What do you think? What do you think? No. Oh. You don't like it? It looks old. It's old. All right. Let's see. Uh, the guy that sold this to me, he was like, "Consider this as a trial. You get these laptops for two weeks, and you can return it whenever." It looks nice. I. I I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you're talking about. It looks actually kind of nice. Okay. Is, this one looks a bit too dark. What do you think? Let's just see. Oh, this is a. Uh, this is memories. Okay, it doesn't look so good when it's opened up, but when it's closed, it looks nice. Look at that. MacBook Pro. Old fashioned. Old fashioned. Yeah. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Alright, so in these tests, you will blatantly know which one is the i7-555X and the i9-560X. Unless do these performance tests and let you know which one's better! Damn! Damn! Alright, you can see CPUs, they're using 1.2 here, 1.3 there, 1.3 actually there. This one's going at 1.4, 1.3 actually, 1.4, 1.3. They're about the same to be honest. This one's using 16.5 watts, this one's using 15.5 watts. Now, what's interesting is I have turned automatic graphics switching off, so they're both using their Radeon Pro graphics. This one's using the 555X, and this one's using the 560X. And at this stage, there's no real discrepancy. I mean, maybe this temperature of the CPU is a bit hotter because I was recently using it, but it's cooling down now. Anyway, I'm going to play a video, and let's see how that affects things. This one's at 20.7 watts. This one's at 19.07 watts. CPU-wise, this one's at 1.65, this one's at 1.57, it's using about 4, this one's using about 4 as well, pretty much neck and neck to be honest. So I'm not really noticing much of a difference with the graphics cards at this stage of not being pushed. Let's close this guy up and let's do a more intensive test. So we're going to get Synbench. All right, right now we're on our fourth run around the track. You can see that this setup's using 44 watts and this setup's using 39 watts. There is a discrepancy in CPU power. This one's going about 11, this one's going about eight, and this one's, well, it should be using more RAM, but currently isn't at the moment. So, uh, you know, it's not much in it, maybe five more watts when it's under load, but that five extra watts gets you, what is it, 20, 20 22 frames more than this one. This one's getting 70 frames and this guy's getting over 90. So not much in it when you're hitting a graphics card hard, to be honest. All right, this is YouTube playback at 1440p at 2x speed. So after around 10 minutes, the fans are at 2,890. All right, 2,853. After the first run, the fans are at 4,300. After the second run, the fans are at 5,800. And the fans were fully maxed out on the third run. After the OpenGL run, the fans are at 3,759. Cooling down, the i9 took 14 seconds longer. For CPU encoding, both took 90 seconds to ramp up the fans to max. All right, the fans fully maxed out, but the i9 did take 35 seconds longer to cool down. For Final Cut Pro rendering, at the end of that, the fans are 3,285. Rendering is finished and the fan speed is 2,766. And the i9 once again took 28 seconds longer to cool down. In Xcode, the i7 actually hit the maximum fan speed 7 seconds faster than the i9. Alright, the fans hit 5,900. But, as usual, the i9 was slower to ramp down the fans by over 30 seconds. So at this stage, you must be thinking, damn, these Macs, these fans, they ramp up after just 90 seconds when plugged into an external monitor. That is awful. That is really, really bad. Well, there is ways around these stupid fans and their curves. One, unplug your external monitor. And two, you can use an app which is free, like Turbo Boost Switcher and disable Turbo Boost. It does slow down the ramping of the fans considerably, especially on a 2.2 i7. On the i9, you should really use an app like Volta and lower the TDP a little bit more, maybe match it with the 2.2 and then the fans get a bit reasonable. But yeah, 
These mechs. God damn it. You know, maybe if you had one of those eGPUs and you plugged the monitor in through one of those, maybe that would quiet down the fans. I don't know. Maybe I should get one and test it out. If anyone has any experience with an eGPU, please let me know if it stops these crazy fans from being crazy. Anyway, now we're going to be disabling Turbo Boost. After the third run, the fans have hit 5,900. After the third run, it's at 3,200. After the OpenGL test, the fans are at 5,100. And after OpenGL, it's at 3,200. Oh, look at that frame rate though. That's awful. After four minutes, the fans are at 5,500. All right, after four minutes, the fans are at 3,866. After around four minutes, the fans are at 3,900 and the GPU is at 76. All right, after around four minutes, the fans are around 2,736. The GPU is at 73. All right, it seems to be stable now. What I've done here is I've limited the power limit of the CPU to 15 watts. What that means is uh, the processor is going at a maximum of 2.3, 2.4, 2.3, 2.4, .3, and uh, the fan speed's going between 3090, and the GPU is 72 degrees and it's still going faster than the base clock speed of the i7 2.2. So, <sighs> the things you have to do. Hopefully Apple will tune these processes better, but for now, this is the kind of crap you have to go through. What's up my friends? Woo! We just come out of the Apple store after sitting there for a good two to three hours, and we, we decided to get ourselves another MacBook Pro with Touch Bar. <laughs> now, you wanna know why the hell we've done that? Well, apparently there's some rumors saying that the base, base, base model with the 555X is, is faster and quieter than the, the best one. So, once again, <laughs> oh. I have to say, this guy is Mr. Sulky Pants. I was, I was sitting was there like, for three hours to. just testing it out. It seemed quieter, but I don't know because they got such good AC in there. Yes. I asked the sales dude, like, is this one quieter than the, the, the top spec one? And he said, you know, to be honest, I don't know. He yeah. didn't know. He didn't know. To be fair, he didn't know. So it's up to us to make that decision and let you guys know once again whether or not whether or not you've made the right decision. <laughs> Back once again for the Renegade <laughs> MacBook Master D4 Damager, power to the i7. 